with Charles Barkley. Now, uh, uh, Charles, uh, Charles uh, uh, it seems that the, uh, the uh, NBA or TNT has just released emojis uh, based on retired players and, uh, and some of their sportscasters. <laughs> I just want to point out that your emoji right here is a half-eaten donut. <laughs> How do you how do you feel about that? Does that hurt you your know, feelings? You know, listen, was... I'm a little heavy right now. <laughs> you know, I just got my second hip replacement, so I haven't been able to work out. So the donuts have been flowing freely. <laughs> I that... think, and I and I, everybody know I'm a Krispy Kreme guy. Like when you're driving up the street, and that little hot sign comes on. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> I... I can't stop it. That's just a black hole. It's like it's just, into it. That little hot sign. Just pulls? I, I'm like, it's like a gravitational pull. Neil deGrasse Tyson can't explain that. No, you just no, get sucked right into the, yeah. He cannot, but I love Krispy Kreme. But I can work out now. I got two functioning hips. OK. Yeah. Again, the three-on-three -three league this summer. No. I'm not, oh. hey, listen, you got to know your limitations. I'm not, my basketball days are over. They're over. And just for the record, Y'all's over, too. Uh, yeah. Mine never really began. Mine never really began. Um, uh, now, uh, you have, uh, you have uh, opinions on everything, all right? You have opinions on everything in the world. I understand you have an opinion on a fashion trend, and then you, you, you spent some money to try to end a fashion trend. My goal is to ruin, to end, rid the world of the man bun. <laughs> that... That is not a thing. So we got this. Because you can't grow one? What's the reason? No. Uh, w yes, you're right on that one. But we had this kid at work named Andy. He had a man bun. And I, I, I said, I'll give you $1,000 to cut off that thing. Let me cut it off on TV. And I cut off the man bun. The thing was, I would have went up to 5000 uh, Well, 2500 But I said 1000 <laughs> I said a thousand. He jumped at the thousand dollars. So I cut his man bun. And my goal, if I can get me a little group of guys together and we just walk around the country, just holding guys down, just cutting off that damn man bun. Not sure if that's legal. Yeah. Not sure if that's legal. I just want, want to pause one second here, and we'll edit this moment out in the show. But uh, your button is oh, undone sorry. right there. Yeah. Up here, Stephen. <laughs> uh, Hey. 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 All right. Hey. My apologies. Uh, okay. My apologies. That's okay. I'm, only, I'm only human. Eye Charles. contact. I understand. I understand. Hey, you know, deep, deep, deep in there is a six pack. <laughs> in your navel. <laughs> <laughs> Down in your navel. Yeah, deep, like deep, in a, deep. Like in a mini fridge. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's 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 bigger than a mini fridge right now. <laughs> but next time I come on your show. I'm gonna be svelte. All right, all right. I'm gonna spend my entire summer working out with my trainer. Okay, all right. I'll see you in September. Okay. All right, that sounds yes. good. That sounds good. I'm gonna. All right, sounds good. Now, uh, you've got a very serious project right now on TNT. Mm -hmm. um, it's called American Race. It's about uh, it's four around hour long mm -hmm. uh, shows where you travel around the United States uh, to. Talk to people about race. Why, why did you want to do this? Why, why now? Well, I wanted to do a positive show on race. Uh, and it, it, it starts about the, the situation between the black community and the cops. We need to mend that fence. Uh, clearly, some things that happen. The cops have made some mistakes. And some people in the black community get mad at me because I defend the cops. That doesn't mean I follow the cops blindly. I always support the cops, but they have made some mistakes, and we have to bridge that gap. Uh, one, one episode is about the Muslim ban. I think it's so disrespectful to lump a whole entire religious group into a box thinking they're all terrorists and things like that. So that's a really powerful episode. <laughs> and... And... And, and also, we do uh, talk about undocumented immigrants who I think are getting a bad rap in this country. Uh, they're here, they're working their behind off, they do a lot of work that blacks and whites don't want to do. And really just like 
lay everything out on the table. So I've met some amazing people. We've been working on the show for the last few months. Like I say, I just want to create a debate. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind, but you know, when we say uh, this one lady, uh, God, she's amazing. She goes crazy on me because her son, she said, was beaten to death by the cops. And she said, I always support the cops. And I says, to a certain degree, that doesn't mean I think they do everything perfect. But I wanted people to see her face and her pain. Uh, that was really important for me to show that. And also, you know, we talk about the Muslim religion, but I don't even know any Muslims like that. And I wanted people to spend some time around a Muslim family and so they can see these are actually real people. And same thing with the undocumented immigrants. I spent a day with them and they've been here over 20 something years and worked four and five jobs, the mom and dad, the three kids are like street A students and they don't drive, they don't go out at night. They have a system where they talk to each other every hour to make sure something hasn't happened and I asked, one of them hasn't been picked up by ICE or yes, something Yes, like and I that. asked him, I said, well, what's the difference between President Trump and President Obama? And they said, well, there's a big difference because under President Obama, they only got deported for felonies with President Trump. They get even get deported for misdemeanors. So clearly that's a huge difference. So like I say, I just wanted to bring a conversation to it. Well, what about in sports? Um, how, how, do you think we're going backwards at all? Because um, Adam Jones, who was a center field for the Orioles, um, got called racial slurs mm -hmm. at Fenway the other night. Yeah. He yelled the N-word, people throwing mm -hmm. peanuts at him. And then the next night, came out and got a standing ovation. Yeah, that, 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 I didn't like that standing ovation. If I was in a crowd of people and they were insulting any ethnic group, I think that I'm man enough to call them out. I'm not going to sit there and let them berate anybody continuously. So I was more disappointed in the crowd. Because if somebody is just sitting there listening, you're condoning it. Silence is consent. Yes. Is what you're saying. Um, well, the series is called American Race. Yes. The man is Charles Barkley. It premieres next Thursday on TNT. You can see Charles on Inside the NBA throughout the playoffs. Charles Barkley, everybody.